Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Afro Man 365 as he attempts to audit an IRS building. Wait a minute, why would you want to audit the IRS? You're playing with fire right there, my big man. At any rate, let's sit down, relax, and enjoy this questionable action on this moron's part. Just standing in the IRS building here and just chilling, looking at their pamphlets. And this guy's... The security guy's trying to give me a hard time. Whatever his name is. Oh, you find it humorous that they're upset that you're filming? Well, here's a clue. Maybe you should have taken a look at the signs in the lobby, because here's one right here that you missed. And it tells you why they're upset, because there's no filming or photography allowed in there. But of course, that doesn't matter to you, considering you think you're right all the time. This uh, security guard called the cops for me just standing in a public lobby. Wrong, 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 wrong. Scared of a camera. Wrong, 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 wrong. There are so many cop callers. Like, they don't know the laws. They just, oh, we'll call the cops. They'll handle it. Like, the cops have authority over me or something. The cops ain't. This place needs audit. This place needs a real audit, anyways. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. It's literally hiding behind the poster. Look at this. He's literally just hiding. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> that comedy. I just don't know why you don't go sit down. It's just a camera. Yeah, I, my phone was turned off for a few days, so I wasn't uh, able to go live or anything. But um, got my new phone, so let me know how the camera quality is. Fifteen minutes later. We got a Karen cop caller right here. I wonder if the PD are going to show up. I think they told him that... I'm just standing in public and just recording. Not much anybody can do about it. It's just chilling. Hiding behind, he's already behind a door that's locked and all this and that anyways, but he's worried about a camera. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead outside and see what they're doing. Yeah, he's gonna just go hang out with his friends until the police arrive. But even when the police do arrive, he's gonna be in for a rude awakening. Security called the cops, but I, but I think they told, um told him that he's been in public buildings before <laughs> i'm pretty what sure happened? uh he went well he was all fine with me standing there until he started doing the metal detector thing on the other people in there and i was recording him doing it and he just came out there oh you can't be recording in a federal building i'm like watch me <laughs> then he went and called the cops and i think they told him ah he's just in public he does this in other public buildings what do you think will come out ah uh, maybe didn't I say the security guard's gonna call the cops? Yeah. I he, called it. 
Yeah, it's true. That all depends if they come out or not. What's up, Robert? Hey, Mike. What's up, Jeremy? Joe for life. Here they come. Like the boy. What? Oh, shit, they're here. Aw, BD actually awesome showed top. up. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go back in there. <laughs> Five minutes later. Hey, what's going hey. on? Hey, but have they asked you to leave? Nope. They have not asked you to leave? Plus, they can't ask me to leave public property. No, they can't. You need to learn the difference between private and public property. Fucking stupid cops. No, they're. Are you but, in the no, but this is not an uncommon thing. They like to go out and audit government buildings and say that. Okay, so. Yeah, but what he's talking simple about, question. So simple question. Give you a simple answer for a simple minded fool like you. Yes, you can be trespassed from any public building. I don't know how many times it's happened to you, but you're not bright enough to comprehend that simple fact. Hey, hey, simple question. Hey, hey, all three of you should be able to answer this. Simple question. Is this open to the public, yes or no? Then I can stand here and record these public pamphlets and right here all day long until the building closes. No, no, I'm, I was just trying, that's all I was going to try to explain to the security guard. <laughs> I understood appointment only, you got to go in there and appoint. I didn't have an appointment, so I just said, okay, that's fine. I'll look at the pamphlets and whatnot, and then that was it. Fair enough for me. Hey, we're going to try to solicitate a trespass with the can. Oh, you are so lame for misusing that word. You are so lame. I'm not lame. Yes. Yes, you are. Please, Mom, please don't do that. Don't be mean to me. I'm not being mean to you. You're just too lame to say it. You don't know what I can do or what I'm going to do. You don't know. You don't know what I'm going to be. You don't know how good I have good things and you don't know it. And I'm going to be somebody and don't tell me I'm not. <laughs> they are solicitating a trespass. You can't trespass me from public property. Not against the First Amendment. I got the freedom of press. Learn the Constitution. You are so lame. Learn the Constitution. I can stand right here. I am in public. I can stand right here. He, uh, he, uh. Nobody did. Don't make up false accusations. You're live on YouTube. This is the cop caller right here. They're literally trying to solicitate a trespass. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. That's when I'm standing in public. You can't solicitate a trespass when I'm standing in public. Unless you want another lawsuit. Kidnap me, I dare you. I'll get this waste of tax dollars for somebody standing in public. Like, we've literally got three cops doing nothing but waste tax dollars. Like, they could be out doing solving crime instead of here trying to elicitate a trespass. Are you stupid or something? I'll beat you in court. I haven't lost yet.
they don't care about violating my rights because when you sue them, the taxpayers pay. They don't. So they violate your rights all day long and don't give. Yes, I believe Federal Protection Service has jurisdiction. Um, I don't think they're Federal Protection Service officers, though. They're the cops. So I don't think they have jurisdiction in this building anyways. You file charges on the officers. They lose qualified immunity through higher court, and then you sue them. Oh, I'm just kind of chilling here right now. They're trying to solicitate a trespass, but I hope they don't because then that's another lawsuit. I've... I'm sick and tired of having to uh, beat these people in court. <laughs> you serious? Hey, partner. Take it easy. The building's closed now. IRS what is that, 4.30? They closed. They're in the yeah, they closed early. No, they didn't. Nope, the employee. Then I need somebody to go and tell me or give me something, some documentation. You, you wanna, can't just you tell me that. Here and tell this. Something in document, something, something in documentation, because it says your hours are open till 4.30, so don't close the building just because I'm standing out here. Excuse me, sir, we are experiencing an emergency closure. At any point in time. Documentation of that. Let her talk. So. Documentation, so, please. At any point in time. We can have an emergency closure. Documentation of that. Documentation of that. That's it. Don't don't waste your breath. Just give me documentation. Don't waste your breath. Just give me doc. Don't waste your breath. Just give you documentation. As of right now, the building is closed. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to hang out. All right. No, no, that's fine. I just wanted documentation. Could I just get a call number for this too, and then a business card from everyone? All right. Have a good evening, gentlemen. Yeah. Coming out of it. I'll don't go back in for a second. Um, this guy knows as much about the law as Chile de Castro, and that's not saying very much at all.